Can you tell it's cold? It's really cold. I'm gonna do a quick evening feed routine. Really quick, really simple, very basic. Let's go. So apparently my cat thinks the car is a jungle gym. Every time I come out here, he's on the car. <laughs> All right, boys. I don't even know where they went. They, oh, they're there. Doc! Come on, babes! Come on, babies! You hungry? You hungry? Come on! <laughs> That's my boys. Come on! Come on! Come on, babies! Come on! <laughs> All right, good boy, Doc. Good boy. That's my friend's horse, he's always here to eat. <laughs> I'm gonna go in here. I love this time of year when we're like, pee time, it's the light out. <laughs> I'm one of those people, like, unless it's really cold in winter, I just don't bother um, changing their times. Okay. They actually eat the same food, but different quantities. Most often, see a lot of horse and bear. And I forgot that I locked the top doors today. And so generally, sometimes I'll yeah, you know, I'm this nudie mess over there. <laughs> the yellow is a supplement that it gets. It's got ginger in it. Dirty lips and holes. And socks. Okay. And since I have the top for his lock, I'm going to have to go out there and lock up. Waiting for them to eat. And <laughs> there's Doc behind me. And I got my barn kitty. Keeps mewing. They have automatic feeders that feed them three times a day, but apparently that's not enough, even though they're both kind of hefty uh, for cats that get a hell lot of activity. <laughs> but that's how they like things, so they like to meow and they know that I'm gonna like it's gonna pull on my heartstrings, I'm gonna feed them and they're spoiled little babies, so. And Doc obsessively licks his bowl, so like even though he's almost done, he'll stay here for like the next 10 minutes. No, he still has a bit left. Yeah, he still has a bit left. And there's all that supplement that he gets in the morning makes such a mess. And it's time to let them out. This one always finishes first. Yes, it would win. Hopefully he must take the door and clip it. All right, big boy. Actually, you're a little boy. You're much smaller. You're a little Arab. <laughs> Need a drink? Come on out. Come on. He's like, but there's hay in there. It's not bedtime. You don't get the hay yet. Come on. Get your water. He has water in the stall, but he likes to drink out of the trough. I'm letting it get low because it's time to clean it, so that's why his head's all the way down there. I'm not having him on a water diet or anything stupid like that. <laughs> you just trip. <laughs> All right, come on, little man. Come on, come on, step. 
good boy. He's such a good boy. Okay. And now this big man right here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, see there he goes. I call it cleaning the dishes. He's uh, very polite table manners. He cleans his dishes before he leaves the table. Oh, yeah, so I let him clean the dishes for a little while. It makes him happy. You waiting for your body? Huh? You waiting for your body? He's so sweet and friendly sometimes with Doc. It's like, I'm gonna wait for him because I'm a good friend. I'm such a good boy. Yeah. Just patiently waiting. I think he's like, he's like, get him out of there. I'm tired of waiting. Are you ready to go? Okay, come on. Now he's gonna try to get the hay too, and I'm like, I'm like, I let him get a bite. Okay, get your bite. I'm gonna go for five, I know. Okay, okay, let's go back outside for a little while. Come on, it's not time to come to bed. It's not time for bed, go on. Bear, get out of his way. Doc, you know what to do. You know what to do. Yeah, you tell him. Tell him to move. <laughs> Bickering! Bear, get back. Hey. Good job, Doc. Hey, come on. Let him out. Come on. Move. Move your feet. Move. Okay. Now, now you've got it. Now you have no excuse. Come on. Okay, let's go, let's go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. He still has bedding on from this morning. So now I'm closing the barn up again because it's gonna be chilly tonight and it helps to just keep it um, like a nice, little bit warmer than it is outside just by like keeping it locked up. I, it is a well-ventilated barn. Like the rafters over the stalls are completely open and uh, it's like that. On the other side, not as open on the other side, but all the eaves have gaps in them for air. Closing this door up. Now, if you're wondering why this looks like crap, it's not because it's rotten. The horse did not do it. Um, the doors were built on a cool day, and my father tried to cut them as tight as possible. And the trim piece that he put on it originally back in September was way too thick, and it worked all winter. And then as soon as it started warming up in summer, it started to swell and the door wouldn't shut properly anymore. Hey Tiggs, hey baby. Where's your brother, huh? Where's your brother? Totally uh, got rubber shoes on. And pants, because that's my general attire. Oh, there's your brother. Wait a minute, were you locked in here? Okay, look, like the feeder room's sealed up. So, <laughs> totally locked normal in here accidentally, I guess when I I even realized he was in here. So then I just refill the food put um, for the morning so that I could just come in quick and feed them. Okay, baby. Yeah, that's pretty much how that's done. Anyway, that's my evening winter routine. Um, usually by this time of year, I'm getting ready to switch to summer routine, but since it's like in the 40s, I'm gonna be in the 30s tonight. And it's gonna be a while before we actually get summer-like weather. Um, then uh, they'll be on their winter routine where they go back out at night. Um, usually in the summer, anyway, I'll bring them in um, around 12 before it gets too, too hot and they'll about at feed time once it cools off a little bit. I don't like to keep them in that much. Anyway, thanks for watching and I hope you like this video. Bye.